Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Frankencraft 2. As you can see, we got 97%, 98% progression almost done. Oh, so the is done. But, but, look at this. An Enderman spawner. Oh yeah. So I had a zombie spawner, broken, and I got soul vial from an enderman and we uh, we can release it if we want to or we put it in here soul vial with a broken spawner and we can convert it to whatever one we want to so we can go around clicking on uh, any kind of a mob we want a zombie pigment farm we can do that uh, we can do a chicken farm we can do a cow farm we can do anything we want all through spawners so um, we all want ender pearls and all the good stuff that comes with it. So I thought, well, let's get ourselves some of those. That's how I died and I think it was two or three episodes ago. I uh, tried getting one of these guys, killed my, uh, took everything. I died in the end, lost everything, got pushed off the edge, and uh, finally rebuilt everything. Got myself uh, out of my pickaxe with self-touch on it finally so I can get some ice, uh, which is part of today's project. We're going to be building a little rink for my boys. Uh, I've got miniature red hearts that I'm going to be basically giving away now. Um, you can see here. Hello. I've got nine yellow ones and two red ones from fighting. What the hell is that? Oh, a creeper heart. Uh, nine yellow, two red from fighting the. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Wither boss. You can see I got nine nether stars now. Uh, let's see the wither skull count. 46 and I owe all that to sausage and um, Util on the server they said if you upgrade the crap out of this So Mignon one gives you 20% uh, chance. I think it gave you beheading to get one up to beheading six It gives you an 80% chance to get any kind of head so creeper head zombie head stuff like that um, it's not the greatest for attacking. Still takes two hits to kill the skeleton, but you get its head every single time. So what I did is I went to the uh, farm I made in the nether, and I took out the computer, and I just started taking swings at him. And I had something like 18 left, and I went in, uh, I got 50 by the time I left. I gave six to Andy on the server. Um, so now, what we have to do is grab one of these guys and go right here uh, slightly damaged slightly damaged let's use the uh, wait let's use this one 30 levels all right supply with power to activate upgrade with capacitors to increase speed and energy storage uh, they're, they're glitched by the way there it's not a duplication method all right so now we have a powered enderman spawner i still have a witch spawner uh hmm i did I wonder if I left it over at one of the other uh, one of those spots. Oh, I created one of these, a network tool as well. This is a handy little tool. Oop. Let me go over to it here. Click anywhere on the ME system. It doesn't matter where. It could be the low charger. It could be, sorry, the charger. It could be the wireless. could be anything. Just click. And what it will do is it tells you how much power is stored, what the max power is, and what you're using, and then what you're generating. So right now I've got, uh, uh, oh damn, <laughs> I've got a lot of the uh, stuff shut off, shut off. So I have this here, the molecular assembler, which is a part of the whole crafting unit. Right here is the switch to turn all that on. And once that gets powered up, oh crap, I had left my uh, jetpack up there. I have to, uh, I've been trying to put in some stairs for when I do this and I don't have my jetpack on me. Oop. 
There we go. Just a quick way to get back up. Let me put the trap door back too. There we go. Perfect. Let's hide that. All right, so we go back to the network tool. You get an achievement for that too, by the way. Now it shows you 1657, what you're producing. And the cool thing is because I'm using the lava generator, it basically will match whatever power is actually being in there. The stored power won't really go up uh, because I don't have any batteries hooked up to it right now. I disconnected them all. I've got them charged, but um, I didn't see the point in trying to run it off a battery when I could just put power right into the energy acceptor. It's kind of the point to have it. Uh, so it defeated the purpose of having a battery, but the cool thing is is now that I'm going to be Not using batteries. I can go around and grab any one of these batteries here that I want uh, This guy's full. So this also acts as a normal wrench so what I could do is I could actually power this spawner and uh, we've got uh, sausage and util both did a ritual for the activation sigil this guy right here so you get these from the wither so every time you kill it you get one of those and you go uh, with that enchantment table surround it with redstone activated at midnight kill something on it whether it be a hostile mob or a cow a pig or chicken whatever kill it on there strike at midnight oh crap and um, it spawns a bunch of mobs, you kill them, and what happens is you actually get this. Now I have to look a little bit more into it, but the cursed land, I believe, if you put it around a spawner, um, I don't know if you'd have to do it with a powered one, because a powered one, I think you're basically just doing the whole purpose. Damn! Let me get my jetpack. There we go. Put this thing on before I jump out. Oh, and the other thing, I remade the um, armor again, put everything all back on, so now I'm back up. Uh, but the thing is, we have this stuff here, the amethyst, and that, I've looked into it, is the strongest armor. Okay, it may not be the most powerful in the sense of having add-ons and all the other crap, but it is the most powerful. So out of a uh, scale, I think of 25 is the most you can do for armor. This goes to 36. So it is the strongest armor that you can get. But most OP, the one that has like flight and absorbs damage, um, feather falling, all that kind of stuff, doesn't have any of that. So what you could essentially do is get, I think you can do it, uh, what I was thinking you could do is uh, they had an exosuit, which was in a previous version, but uh, doesn't look like it. What the exosuit was is like a skeleton, basically, and you could put other armor in it to absorb the damage. Uh, I think you could put like two or three backups in it as well, so it was pretty cool. And uh, that would have worked well with that. So we've got this guy here. Still haven't figured out how to hook this guy up yet. Uh, we've got energy. Nowhere to be found. This doesn't create energy as some people may think. It is simply an energy storage unit. So, uh, you know, I was one of the people that thought it actually stored or it created energy as well, uh, just from misconception, from what I had uh, heard. And the other thing I had actually done, which I don't think I'd showed you guys, is I had fully automated the. Uh, my ender pouches so when I go mining everything goes into here gets pumped into the system here goes into here gets smelted and then once I hook up the nodes the last thing I want to do right here is liquid I think that's it right there nope there that's what I want so I'm going to do the Ender IO one because I've already got three or four of these. And a hopper, not much. Fluid conduit. Mm. Okay, so I'm missing the, the goo, whatever that is, the conduit binder. Binder composite. 
Oh, yeah, this is the one with the gravel and the clay and all that kind of stuff. Uh, do I have that? Yeah, right on. Let's just do a whole bunch of it. Wrong machine. We we're just using that. Okay, so we'll get some of the binder composite. What that uh, f fluid uh, sorter basically is what it is. I'm hoping what I can do is I'm going to be able to hook it into this and allow it to choose which one because right now if I put three on here whatever metal goes in there like iron say is the one that goes in it's gonna squirt iron in all three of these what I'd like to do is like iron here gold here and I don't know something else here silver say and then what I'll do is on the other side I can do the other ones so I won't have any of these casting tables because there's not really any point I would just put more of the uh, casting basins there to make blocks and it would all get sucked back into the system and then put the other three more popular ones so do lead tin and aluminum on this side say and I want this machine to be able to sort out so it has uh, six sides to it I should be able to sort six different liquids with it at least that's the plan Damn, this is going to make a ton of those binders, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to use them for something. Uh, you can see over here now, because of me playing with this machine, or not machine, but chest, I've got this for days and days and days. Let's throw in a few more pieces. I mean, it cooks it up so quick, and wow, unbelievable. Got its own crafting system there. So I could do a whole bunch of glass panes if I wanted to. Um... So that's the plan here. I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera. What the main goal was to not play with any of this and have a nice little light-hearted episode. I'm gonna see, uh, let's see what kind of designs we have for fence. Because I'd like to do something that's uh, just a little bit different. Um, I wonder if we could do something like this here. Well, what the hell? Yeah, that's great. You showed me how to make a stupid spruce and birch fence, but separate, not together. I wonder if that's uh, like a chisel kind of thing. It says extra trees, so. Hmm. Yeah, what else we got here? Iron bars, ice fence. Can we do that? Let's try our crafting out. Watch, it'll make an ice helmet. <laughs> now that, uh. Aw, oh, damn it. I want my ice back. Yeah, I don't think we can do the ice fence, but uh, I'd like to pick something that would complement it nice. Either, like, you know, do a pink or a, a white. See, and all this kind of stuff, I don't think we're going to be able to get into any of that because uh, we'd have to find a specific kind of wood. Uh, yeah, we could do an iron fence. Uh, that's by Natura. Well, what's that take? A metal former. Ah, oh. iron item casting. So we'd have to do a forge hammer, iron plate, which means we'd have to do. So what the hell is this hammer? Let's make it. There we go. Now we got a hammer. Let's get rid of this crap. So if I do that in there. Okay, so it gives me a whole bunch of these. And uh, do 60. And I shouldn't have actually put those in there, but I do that. I get rid of all those. Now I wonder how many fences it actually gives you. No, not that. 
A metal former. Hmm. I'm sure Util probably has one of those. Hey, I got shiny ingots there. Yeah, it is. Industrial craft. That's a whole lot of crap. Let's go over to his place. Take our hammer just in case we need it. All right. He's been uh, working really hard on the uh, ICU stuff. So he's got like every machine known to man to do with that. Uh, let's see, extractor, furnace, macerator, canning machine, metal former, there we are. That's that guy. So that should turn it into a fence, I'm hoping. Give me four each. That'd be great. Alright, it gives me one. So we'll have 32 fences, which not going to be the biggest uh, fenced-in yard, but maybe we can combine some, uh, like, spruce wood or something like that, and even just some oak wood or something on the corners. Just uh, break it up a little bit and give it a little bit of flavor. Because I do want to have a nice little house for these guys. Or not really a house, but a yard. Um, they're pigments for crying out loud. They deserve to have some ice. So let me finish this up, guys. And I will bring you back once I've got their yard built. And hopefully all of them where they should be. I'll see you in a few. Alright, so we're done. I got them... No more in my lasso. But one more thing I wanted to show you guys is... Uh, I only have three left. I gave uh, two to Sausage so that he could have a couple pets. And down here, I made this guy. So we got a Fisher. Whoa. So if we go look in this nice, beautiful, clear chest. Oh, wicked. Enchanted book. Unbreaking three, efficiency three, tripwire hooks. Look at all these awesome fish. Raw herring, raw perch. Raw catfish, tuna, salmon, bass, char, snapper, tilapia. Look at all this. Raw eel. Yeah. Looks kind of. Mm -hmm. Rotten flesh, raw mudfish. You know what? Let's try the herring and. Uh, let's see what else we got. Two of char and tilapia. Let's give those a shot. I'm not sure if these guys only eat regular vanilla fish or what. But we will try. Will you eat that? No, I can. You won't. Damn. So these guys are only going to be able to eat raw, regular vanilla. Yep. Let's see. Go here. Do I even have any regular vanilla fish? I only have two. All right, so these guys will throw all back. And as you can see here, I made the little uh, ice farm for them. Nice little fenced in area. I ended up using a silver bell wood to do the gate. They don't have an iron gate, it's kind of weird. Uh, but you guys can see, you're hungry, aren't you? Make baby. Aw, oh, look at that, <laughs> it slides on the ice. That is awesome. I just wanted to do a fun little episode here. Uh, we've been doing a lot of really grindy stuff, and uh, I did go back to the end and uh, did a whole bunch of mining. I cleared out a ton of spots out there, got another four and a half stacks of the, um, what do you call it, uh, draconium dust. So, because we're going to need a lot, and I still got to do more research to figure out what went wrong with that thing over there. Um, I thought it was something to do with the placement of the, whatever you call it, the energy core, the pylon, or whatever it was. And uh, apparently not, because I've got it placed properly according to the research I've already done. Uh, so I'm going to talk with a couple of the other guys on the server, see if we can't figure out what the deal was, and uh, maybe just a different perspective from somebody else might give me, uh, you know, a fresh look at it and be like, oh, damn, it was something so simple, but uh, I think what I might do is try and extend this a little bit. You can't get out. It seems kind of mean, but they're my pet. All right, so we got all our 
Pearls planted should have almost two stacks. Yeah. I think I lost a couple somewhere. I love this. Now they're at home. They've got themselves some ice. I think what I might try and do is um, get some snow as well and just kind of create like a small little snow biome around here. Put some snow on the tops of these and I had to go back and get a few extra pieces. I thought, you know what, I don't want mobs coming in here and killing these guys. So that would suck. Uh, but the only thing I want to try now is see if I can put some sort of a light up here uh, that won't melt the uh, snow. And I think what I might do, which I can do quickly right now, is uh, Certus. Oh, things not powered. Come on, go down the hole. It's the only problem with this trapdoor. You have to be really specific. Okay, let's just shut that off. See these, I tried crafting these things. I've got all this set up, but I think I need to put each individual one in there. This is supposed to uh, tell me what it's crafting, but apparently this isn't working. So I may have to change the design or wrap this around there uh, because I don't think that was lit up well, they're all lit up, so it seems to be a valid structure, but I don't know. We'll have to see. That's for a different episode, uh, but for this, it should be, uh, yeah, it's going up, so it should be providing power. There we go. All right, so charged. Okay. Um, they have these little lights. All right, let's look under applied energistics then. Right there. Light, nope, not that one. This guy. Get four of those. And the cool thing with these little guys is because it's um, made from charged quartz, uh, it doesn't need any power, needs nothing. You're just pretty much free to go. Am I in the way? There we go. Hopefully this won't melt anything. Uh, I did have a problem with that when I first started doing it here is uh, the ice melted because I had a, a torch a couple blocks away and it was just just close enough to melt the ice but I think we should be good so this should light up and uh, prevent mobs from spawning one thing that I'm probably gonna get into with the um, ender IO is they have uh, let's see I can't remember the name exactly it's an obelisk uh, a version this guy right here but I need a tormented ender, enderman head. And that's not easy to get. I got the solarium and I've got the energetic alloy. Machine chassis is not hard to make. I could probably make three right now. So throw that in there, why not? Um, so it's, cause you can see the enderman. I've got seven uh, from when I was in the end with the beheading. So I gotta find a tormented one and try and get his head. Um, it's gonna, turn out to be a little bit more of a challenge than I'd like it to be because what the aversion does where did it go ender io right there so what that does prevents mobs from spawning within its area of effect so I'd like to just stick it out the front just for the sole fact of uh, wait a minute I can just make this? Are you kidding me? A basic capacitor, water bottle, solarium. All right, I know I got the ingredients for that. Oops, got two of those. The solarium. Oh yeah, they don't stack in here. Yeah, 15 of those. Okay. Was it two or three? I think it was two, but the Enderman head, which I know I've got those, and I can't remember the last thing. 
Oh, the basic capacitor. And this is why I craft extra of everything. Because you just never know when or what or how you're going to make something. Um, Alright, so let's see how that goes into the whole setup there. So my slicing splice, the head and the solarium on the top, water and the basic capacitor on the bottom. The slicing splice is this guy here. Oh, I've already got an interval head in there. Look at that. Alright, so water on the bottom, capacitor there. And that guy there. Bam. So we'll have a tormented Enderman head. Oh, fantastic. All right, so we'll throw this into the crafting system. Let's throw it all back. Can I not throw that into the system? Just won't let me. Wow. All right, well, let's just put it there. We know where it's going. We know what it's doing. We know what's going on. A version of Blisk. All right, boom. Now, what I'm curious is, does it need to be, uh, I'll have to look up whether or not it's gotta be powered. Let's go throw it down. Let's see, we want it to be kind of right in front of there. What the hell? Okay, it does need to be powered, sort of active without a signal oh damn that covers a pretty damn good range holy crap wow all right I'm definitely gonna get a capacitor for it and I guess the more soul vials you have the more of a range that it would increase so it definitely takes battery power I'm just gonna punch this out for a sec, and uh, I have here just a big honking battery, and let's set the top. All right, so that is filling up with power, so it is running. Um, always active, huh? Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see if it actually does work. There. Perfect. So we got a nice, safe little home for our guys right here. And I'll keep breeding them, and we'll have like thousands of them, and thousands and thousands all over the place. And then we'll start selling them on the black market to all the guys on the server. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.